Ahoy, this is Admiral. Welcome to my video. Today we're taking a trip to the land of hypothetical bonuses to discover the productive potential of smaller farms. Okay, maybe not that small. Rather, we're going to be talking about farms that would take up 2x2 two two tiles instead of the standard 3x3. Three three. Now, I'm surely not the first to sow the seeds of this idea. If I had to guess, I'd say this might be the most commonly suggested civilization bonus that hasn't yet been added to the game, although it does make an appearance in at least one mod. In one thread on the official forums about possible new Civ bonuses, this idea is suggested at least 10 times by different people, and it's widely disseminated across other threads and posts as well. This is unsurprising, as it's intuitive enough to be a fairly obvious bonus, yet clever enough to be distinct from the bounty of existing farm bonuses. But how good is it, exactly? Well, today we're going to plow through some tests and find out. And I'll be using Spirit of the Law's recently updated Farmer's Almanac for comparisons with other civilization bonuses. No need to reinvent the wheelbarrow for information that's already available. For the first set of tests, we're going to look at single-layer placement of 3x3 farms around these two mills in the Dark Age. Running for 30 minutes and then having all villagers drop off the food they're holding, we find that the generic farms have yielded 8,624 food. Repeating the test for the 2x2 two two farms, we get 10,002 food in the same period, almost exactly a 16% greater yield. This improved farming efficiency is the result of not having to walk around as much on a larger farm, leaving more time for gathering as well as a very minor contribution of being slightly closer to the drop site. Running the same experiment in early Castle Age with the Feudal Age technologies wheelbarrow and horse collar researched, we find a narrower but still significant lead for the smaller farms, which yield food 11.9% faster than the normal farms. By post-imperial age, however, with handcart, the smaller farms' advantage has almost entirely evaporated, netting less than a 1% improvement in farming rate. But what about the added walking time saved, and the resulting efficiency improvements relative to normal farms if we double-layer the farms around their drop sites? Running a similar round of tests with two layers around each drop site, we find an advantage of 17.2% in Dark or Early Feudal Age, 13.1% in Early Castle Age, and a milder but still respectable 3% in Post-Imperial Age. This is where the advantage of having to walk less to drop off the food becomes more apparent. Although you'll rarely have enough early farms to reach the theoretical early 17%, and until you filled out the second layer, your efficiency advantage will be somewhat between the two values. However, this secondary benefit at least helps the bonus to age more like cheese than milk, and allows it to retain a non-trivial economic boost for much of the game. Now let's see where this bonus goes relative to other civilizations, given the data provided by Spirit of the Law's latest video on farming rates. One important thing to keep in mind is that his tests involved a fully saturated town center with 8 inner farms touching the TC, and 12 outer farms, which is a reasonable approximation of the arrangement of a mid- or late-game farming economy. However, this will undersell the impact of direct collection bonuses such as the Slavs have, and will oversell the effect of smaller farms in the early game when you have fewer farms and a greater proportion of them are closer to the drop-off point. So even in the comparisons I'm about to make, it's not always as simple as a direct percentage improvement, as ultimately your efficiency will vary with the ratio of inner to outer farms. But we do have the earlier reference points to show how much of this advantage derives from a single layer, and how much from a double layer. And in any case, it helps to have a standardized comparison, and given that caveat, this is a reasonable approximation. So let's dig into the efficiency ranking of 2x2 two two farms relative to existing civilization bonuses. Before Wheelbarrow, it's pretty unambiguously the cream of the crop, and takes first place, beating out even Khmer by around 2%. Although that doesn't automatically make them the best in all contexts, as there are still situations where you'd prefer cheaper Teutonic farms, the front-loaded food injection of the full arc, or the freedom to place T90 farms as Khmer without penalty and without the investment in a mill. By Castle Age, with Wheelbarrow, they drop just below Slavs, but still find themselves convincingly in second place with about 13% more efficiency than a generic farm. By Imperial Age, or after Handcart, they barely make top 5 by displacing Khmer with an underwhelming 3% efficiency, having fallen off from their former glory. So that's how they measure up in terms of efficiency throughout the game. Another advantage is in saved space, as the smaller farms take up less than half the space of the 3x3 farm, you can easily squeeze them into cramped spaces without having to clear forests or delete your own buildings, and you can stack more of them into the first layer around a TC before you have to extend out to the second layer. 
This also makes it easier to protect your farmers, as even double-layer farms are much closer to the shelter and protective fire of your town center. You could even theoretically triple-layer farms around a TC, although I wouldn't recommend that as it would be inefficient, and your TC doesn't have nearly the capacity to accommodate all the farmers when you're under attack. But the ability to have a condensed food economy with these bonsai farms means you can at least concentrate your defenses in a smaller area to protect it. But I think the most compelling benefit of 2x2 farms is that you can finally unlock the aesthetic bonus currently available only to the poles, of being able to perfectly square your farms around your mill, as well as becoming the first civilization able to do the same around their town center. This also lessens the potency of the exploit known as the Crop Shot, although you otherwise have to be more careful when enemy siege is on the field, and rams especially can devastate these small farms very quickly. Overall, I think this is a popular idea for a good reason. Well, it's certainly a powerful bonus, and perhaps shouldn't belong to a strong cavalry civilization, or be stacked with other significant early game bonuses, it's hard to argue that it's overpowered on the basis of it being slightly more efficient than other farming bonuses in the early and mid game. And it's a very interesting and fun bonus, both in terms of resource efficiency and space efficiency, without being overbearing in the late game. It could even be the basis for a new generic or unique type of farm, with a lower cost and food capacity to reflect its smaller size. Although I think even just a smaller but otherwise normal farm is interesting enough to justify its existence. If you found this discussion fruitful, you can irrigate that like button. If you have other thoughts, you can have a cow or dump some fertilizer in the comments section. And you can subscribe to harvest my other videos. This has been me calculating the convenience of claustrophobic circumstances of cultivation. Till next time.